I can't remember because I don't mind those uh, trash talk. I'm not bothered with that. You know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't mind them. Just in general, do you think that's bad for the sport? Tra talking trash? Do you, do you prefer for fighters to be more professional? Well, that's the um, reality of, of this sport. Uh, you know, uh, different uh, kind of attitude you, know, you, you will encounter. So, we we'll have to understand that. Yeah. We're not, we're not all the same. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. Manny, you, know, you, you fought some of the best fighters in the world, future Hall of Famers, current Hall of Famers. Where does Adrian Broner rank amongst the guys that you've fought in your career? Adrian Broner is um, he's also a good fighter. Like I said, um, he's a former champion, and, and he's, he's, he's a good boxer. I mean, uh, um, he's, uh, you know, um, <coughs> One out of ten, um, it's, for me, it's uh, number eight, number seven, eight, like that. A lot of people say if you beat Adrian Broner, then Floyd Mayweather will probably be next. Do you, do you think about that, or is it hard to just concentrate on It's hard on to, to, to think about the next fight because my plan, um, as, at age of 40, my plan is uh, one at a time, you know. It's easy to it's easy to talk about the, the next fight, and, uh, but, you know, uh, at my age, uh, you should plan one at a time. So I can say, let's that um, uh, hang that question uh, until after the fight. After the fight. <laughs> until the night of the fight. After the night. You also said after the Matisse fight, it was really fun to get a knockout again. It had been so long. Does that motivate you more to want to knock out Adrian Broner? Oh yeah, you can become addicted. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that feel like though? When you see the guy go down and you know he's not going to get up, when you, when you just know that you hit him with a flush shot. Um, I know he's, he's um, he will not fight again because um, I, I, I hit him solid, um, solid fans, um, and that's what we did in training, uh, focus and um, give the solid fans. Do you think other fighters underestimate your power when they get in the ring with you? Oh yeah, because um, the, the, the thing is, uh, when you see my, my style in, 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 in TV and in, you know, fighting like that, it's, it's kind of, uh, I don't have power, but uh, when you get into the ring <laughs> to try, it, there's a power. Yeah. What do you visualize happening in the fight? Like, what do you see when you play the fight in your head? Um, this fight? Um, I have that in my mind, but I won't do <laughs> it. Because a lot of people are saying that after that knockout, like the old Manny Pacquiao, the only side against Ricky Hat and then Miguel Cotto, that was just knocking guys out, that you're back like a, a mean streak when you're in the ring. Do you feel that way, like you're more aggressive in, in the ring now, or do you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Did something change, or you just want to knock out more now? Mm -hmm. I... Every day training, we, we focus on uh, throwing um, knockout times, knockout combination. <laughs> You know, a lot of people when they they talk about your 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 best assets, they talk about your footwork, your angles, and stuff like that. What do you personally think is the best thing you do in the ring? I think the, the coordination, footwork, and um, and um, throwing a solid punches. Manny, you said a big part of signing with the PBC was an agreement to promote your fighters. Uh, you have a stable of like fifty fighters. You have a lot of guys on this card. What uh, what exactly are some of the details of that? Like, is it only when you fight that these guys are gonna fight on these cards, or how does that work? Um, no, they can fight without my uh, as my 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 card. Um, they can fight in, in, here in America. So I'm so thankful with uh, the PBC um, and also uh, uh, to Al for uh, giving this uh, opportunity, uh, especially to my my fighters. Um, who are really eager to, to fight here in America. I have uh, more or less uh, 50 uh, fighters. They're, they're good fighters, so you can see that um, my fighters are really good fighters on their card. Man, when, when you were... see Adrian Broner, you, know, you smile at him, you laugh at him. What is it that makes you smile and laugh at him? Um, 
Bonnie guy. Is he the right guy to have an all action fight? You always talk about, like, you know, putting on the show for the fans. Is Adrian's style the perfect style for you guys to have to buy a horse on I think so. It's, um, boxing is uh, more uh, entertainment than, and you have to entertain people. And, and um, you know, um, work hard. We know that uh, what the people want uh, during the uh, night. So we'll do our best. We always Maybe. talk about wanting to go toe to toe. You think Adrian will go toe to toe with you? He doesn't really do a lot of moving usually in this fight. Mm, I, I don't think so. You think he'll be moving around? I, uh, you will confirm me. Ten, ten. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Manny, ten years ago, you were one of the most recognizable figures in, in all of sports. Uh, coming off the De La Hoya, Hatton, Miguel Cotto stretch of your career. Where do you see yourself kind of in the mix as far as recognizable athletes ten years later? Do you still feel like you have the same the, the same buzz? Do you feel like people are going to travel for this fight in the same way they did? Well, I want to um, leave a, a legacy in boxing um, until I'm going to retire. That I'm still in top. And I mean, uh, um, you know, the, what, what I'm talking about, um, I want to, um, you know, still a winner until uh, my, my retirement. Manny, on the all access, I'm not sure if you saw it, but his trainer, Kevin Cunningham, said, this is him saying this, we're going to send his 40 year old ass back to the Senate. Did you hear him say that? What do you make of him saying that? We're going to send a. <laughs> he said, we're going to send his 40 year old ass back to the Senate. Send you back to the Senate. <laughs> he means he's retiring you from the so What do you make of it? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, though, that they think that you're just an old fighter that they're going to beat? Do you think that they think that? <laughs> they think that I'm, I'm old. I mean, they say that because uh, they think I'm, I'm old, but they're wrong. I mean, the way I work hard, my sparring misses, uh, they're 29, 25 years old. So. Um, after the Jeff Horn fight, did you ever seriously consider s retiring at that point? And what, if so, what made you no, decide? Um, after the Jeff Horn fight, I was um, I was challenged. You know, I was challenged because uh, some people some people say, that, "Oh, it's money is not no more. It's old like that." And then, oh, I'm so. Disappointed and challenged about my, myself. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not old. I can, I can do more. I can, I can still do uh, the same before what I did before. And um, let's say we will see. And then, then uh, I work hard, developing my 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 power. And of course, uh, God gave me this uh, blessings, good health, uh, strength. Um, and that's what's, uh, what happened uh, in my last fight. How will you know when it's time to retire? Like, is there is there a specific goal you're shooting for? Or like, because I know your wife is, set, is saying that she's hoping one more fight and then you're done. Here's the thing. Um, okay, while I'm training, for hey guys, for the fight, can we keep it down, please? Thank you. I am enjoying doing that every day. I'm not tired. In fact, we did the same thing. My, my coaches, my staff, the trainers, um, they're trying to stop me because I want to push myself. And they, 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 they told me that, they advised me that every day, no, don't burn yourself, you know, it's too much. Um, you get uh, uh, overtrained, that's enough. You know, I want more, uh, always negotiation. And I'm, I'm still happy doing that every day. I don't get tired. And, and also, not only that, not only that, my vision because I, I have, uh, I'm not lazy, I'm, 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 I work hard, but of course I'm balancing my body of the response of my body, my physical body. So what we did is, uh, we did a heavy work and then, um, but the thing is different before, uh, because before uh, we push this whole day training, we push work, work hard, running and then giving training at the afternoon and then at, in, uh, at overnight you can recover it away and more again push again but this time when you push yourself when I push myself at um, one day heavy training and then I will see um, I will see my body to uh, if uh, I will recover overnight or not if not 
if I can, if, if my body still tired and still tired, I I let my body rest and then.